What is up, guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today, we're playing some more EA Sports UFC 3. Hey, Today, I'm Megan Olivi, and this we was going to dive into our UFC debut, debut, but here we UFC go. UFC returns this weekend with a fresh face who is destined to make headlines. Okay. When UFC president Dana White went looking for a fight, he was hoping that he go. would end up with a future UFC My star. boy, George Michael. the expectations after he signed a regional champion who has dominated the local middleweight circuit en route to his Octagon debut this weekend. Cannot wait, man. So this is his Octagon debut in the UFC, a very, very right, big thing in his next. career. It's Probably his biggest fight so far. Division He's fight. had the fight in front of Dana White. Dana White has signed him. And now it is time to show off in front of Dana in his own organization. Here we go. We get a fight today with Mao Chin Kim. He's 20 years of age. He's a little bit taller than George. He's got less reach. Uh, and he weighs a lot more. Jeez. But here we go. We're not worried about that. He's got decent striking, decent wrestling, but that is okay. We got some nice kicking. We got some nice moves. We're, uh, we're going to be using them. Just going to be looking to just utilize that range. The same as we did in the last uh, episode. Just looking to use these high kicks. Not looking to rush anything. Just looking to fight smart. Lovely jab straight there. Drills him with that. Trying to just slip them body kicks in. But this dude's doing a very good job staying out of range here. So we've got to uh, we'll kind of mix it up a little bit if we can. And Jules hits like a freaking truck, man. You can see his head already affected. Nice body kick. That's what we need to do. Just really brutalize the body. Tried to go upstairs there. You leaned back, though, so... Block there. Made it hard for us. Tricks him with the uppercut. Trying to be a little bit more just no reserved. <coughs> Jesus, just reserved. Tag I can't freaking speak, man. I'm still so ill, but here's what it is. Nice leg kick there, chopping that up. Gonna bait him in. Come in. He's not baiting in. Landed that head kick though, let's go. He's hurt. And this is what George does, man. Just breaks you down with these kicks. Chops you up with the leg kicks. Goes to the body. And there we see it again. He's hurt. Really brutalizing him with these kicks. Oh, he kicks the legs out from under us, though. Jules back to his feet. Southpaw back into Orthodox. Oh, Jesus Christ. The power. Spinning back fist for Kim. It's not enough. Domination so far for Jules Michaels. This guy. Nice hook lands. Just trying to stand back and start using these kickboxing karate kind of style. I think we're okay. We just back up. The jab straight is a really good weapon as well. He steps right in. And we get more range with that. Trying to go to the body a little bit more. Good start to the fight for George. Getting clipped a little bit. I believe we are cut. Lovely timing. He's down. We're going to still beat on him. We're going to beat on him for a bit. We're not done yet. There we go. I want to try and brutalize it. Put the division on hold. Let everybody know, man. You've got a new contender in this division. Right straight. I love the way we return fire. Gets clipped with an overhand. It is what it is, though. Is that it? Nice. Stuffs that. Comes back out. Beautiful. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I could see it open. He was just open after the takedown attempt. Come out with his hands down. Boom. Perfect timing. Kick to the dome. That is the first win in the UFC. It is a really big one. He was coming in with a straight after the takedown. We knocked him out cold. Let's go. Could see it all day long. Boom. I kick to the dome. And that is his first win in the UFC. And what a win it was. A first round knockout. Ladies in the biggest of stages. Let's go. George has done it. Really, really nice timing on that high kick too. Really, really nice timing. There we go. We should have got a performance of the night for that. Let's see. I, we didn't get nothing. Are you kidding me? We created enough space when he came out of the takedown to fire off a perfectly placed kick to the jaw. And it wasn't enough to get a performance of the night. We dominated that kid from start to finish. But there we go. It is what it is. Uh, it was still a good win. I hope that, that win entertained you guys. So we're going to get into the next one. I want some real fighters already. I feel like George is he's annihilating these uh, these like lesser ranked fighters. that They're never going to get into the top 15. But I know George is, man. He's now 4-0, 1-0 in the UFC. And uh, he is a very, very big prospect in the middleweight division. I'd like to see him face off against the likes of Israel Adesanya. I feel like that kickboxing match will be absolutely insane. Yo Romero will be a war as well. But let's go. Okay, so Thomas Ajaro is 4-1. We've got Sam Cole, who is 5-3. 
and we have Jonathan Gutierrez, who is 5-5. Five and five. We're going to go for this dude because he's 4-1, and one, and he poses a grappling advantage. So that could be something to watch out for in this fight. You know, he's going to try and take us down to the ground, going to try and smush us. Four, we've both got four wins. He's got one more fight than us. But there you go. We're going to go and try and train at a boxing gym. I don't think we... Yeah, we can't train at a kickboxing gym yet. But we can train at a boxing gym, get some new strikes going, and uh, just improve George all around. But there we go. Let's rock and roll. Let's get into the next one. Let's try and get another stoppage. Let's see how it goes. Up next, Here we go again, man. Araujo. Thomas Araujo faces off against George Michaels. Now, this dude is a very good grappler. I believe he is like a black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. So this is going to be a very tough matchup for George, but I believe he can keep the fight standing and he can definitely pick him off with his vicious striking. We're going to see how it goes, though. I believe it is time to fight a striker, um, a grappler even, sorry. I think uh, I think we just need to showcase our skills uh, maybe on the ground a little bit, you know? Beautiful combination so far. Head kick switches it up there. Beautiful head kick drops him already. It's good. He's going to shoot for a takedown in a minute. He's not going to want to stay standing with this man. Nice knee. Standing and trading. These boys. George taunting him. What do you got, boy? Good shot there. He's vicious, man. He is vicious. Trying to land a body there. Lovely piercing jab through the guard. Beautiful. That head kick was beautifully timed too, man. You guys wanted to see a kick up? I'm so glad. Because George is chopping this guy up, man. Nice body shot. Every time he comes in. At the minute, I know as well, we haven't got many moves. We haven't even got enough money to unlock a kickboxing gym yet. Uh, so when we do, I'll be learning these spinning kicks and these really, really interesting moves. We've just started our career, so we usually unlock new moves when we uh, when we beat our rival. So uh, yeah, just wait. I know, I know it's annoying, and I do apologise that we don't have any like spinning heel kicks and shit like that. But uh, it's all good. We will have soon. Don't worry. It's coming, man. All their moves are coming. Don't worry. We've just learnt the elbow, for Christ's sake. Like, that's something I'll change in UFC 4. Like, everyone can throw an elbow. Not everyone can throw a spinning heel kick. You know, everyone can throw a hook. Okay, here we go. Oh, we tried to counter there. Now, he's a grappler. He's not really utilising his advantage here. He has got a grappling advantage. Striking, definitely not. Although, he's cracking us. He's cracking us when we come in, because I'm trying to land that big shot. Oh, dude, that would have buckled him. He's got the range over us as well, but... Oh! Oh, oh, that, that would have been nice, man. That would have been nice. Jules Michael's pushing forward. He has busted open Araujo. Trying to slip in that head kick. Mixing up his strikes very nice. I think George has actually got a cut lip. Goes for a takedown, but we stuff it. There we go. George Michaels. Nice grappling here. Let's go. A few shots, and then we're going to get up. Going to get up. I'm not going to stay in his domain. I'm not going to stay down there at risk of a submission. I know if we stay on the feet, the only thing at risk is him getting knocked out. We're not going to be worried about him knocking us out. I believe we're the better striker. So, okay, Joe Rogan in love with the crisp striking from George so far. Domination. He's landed a few shots, but it's mainly been... All with George Michaels. Here we go. Trying to slip in that head kick. We've already cracked him with it once. It was a beautifully timed head kick. This is so hard, man. This dude, this dude's gunning for us. Nice leg kick. Oh, I would have gone upstairs. If I had the chance, I would have gone upstairs for the head kick. It is what it is, though. We go again. We've got next round to get him. We're starting to bust him down when it comes to the body. We're starting to bust him down when it comes to the head. Starting things off with a brutal kick to the body. The standing body kick, I believe, is the better one. When we stand still like this, he comes into our range. He's not really looking to, though. And when he does, he lands a nice kick like that. That's nice. George Michael's got a busted nose. Oh, perfect timing on the head kick for George. Coming forward, just looking to brutalize him. Hit him in the body, drop them hands, you know. This is a dog fight, guys. Oh, not straight. Oh, he's on his bicycle. I'm looking to throw that standing shot. Here we go, man. He is hurt. George looking for the finish. Nice uppercut, elbow. Dude, I'm just trying to beat this guy up. Oh, the head kick. Oh, my goodness. 
Oh my. Who can stop this man? Who can stop this man? When it comes to kickboxing, the only guy that I think will give him trouble is Israel Adesanya. We see it in opening there. Boom. Plants him. Beautiful head kick there for George Michaels. Let's go. Boom. Shin to the dome. He falls like a heap on the floor. And he's out. He's out cold, man. Crack. Nighty night. That is all she wrote. Beautiful striking. I really, really enjoy striking with this guy, man. I really do. Like, one of my favorite career modes. He's so crisp the way he throws. He, every shot is, like, with ill intention. He's looking to knock you out of every freaking punch. And there we go. Another knockout for George Michaels. 2-0 in the UFC. 5-0 in his MMA career. This guy is a freaking animal. He is taking on everybody. And uh, I think the middleweight division should be scared, man. That is his second consecutive knockout in the UFC. His fifth consecutive knockout in his career. And that was beautiful, man. What a lovely kick there. I think the first knockout was a little bit better. But, uh, bro, it, it, they both came the same way. High kick, boom, straight to the face. This dude hits like a truck. Make no mistake, this dude has kicks for days, man. Let's go. Who's next? Who's next? We're going to see who they offer us. I wouldn't mind a real fighter. I don't think they're going to give us any. Uh, but I've been... Oh, they are. Daniel Kelly. Oh, okay. Dropped go. Okay, who do we go for? 19 and 4, 13 and 4. Oh, I don't know. We're going to go for this dude. We're going to go for this dude. We're going to fight our first real ever fighter. This could be a very, very big tough test, but we're going to go for it and try and take this man out. Let's get it, man. Let's get it. I'm excited for this one, man. Jotko is in for a nightmare. Honestly, this dude, um, he's, he's decent at grappling. He's decent at um, uh, striking as well. He's okay, but I think, I think we got it. I think we got it. I don't know. I could be underestimating him, and then he goes out there and sleeps us, but I think we got it. I don't know. I just think George Michaels has this in the bag. Let's see the tail to take. 29 to 18. He's a little bit taller, and he's got a little bit more reach. Let's go. I, I, I think we got it. I think when that high kick connects... It's all over. We we'll see, though. Touch gloves. Got a new weapon in my arsenal. So, uh, we're going to put that to good use. Here we go. Oh, he thinks he thinks he can get George out in round one. Okay, we'll see about that. We'll see about that. I see him leaving his head open, and we're going to exploit that. I'm not looking to rush this. I'm looking to exploit this dude's weaknesses. And I feel like one of his weaknesses is George is just very, very quick. It isn't really a weakness for him, but it can be. Nice leg kick there. I see him leaving his hands down after he throws a combination, and that is obviously a bad thing to do, and I feel like George will pick him off in a second. Nice body kick. Beautiful. This dude's, like I said, he's got nice takedowns as well, so we've got to watch out for that, but I think we keep our range. Nice slip. Oh, I tried to get him coming out. That'd have been nice. Okay, not looking to throw too many of them unless I see an opening. There we go. Tagged him. Oh, set it down. Let's go. Just like that. Razor sharp speed and ferocity there by George Michaels. Let's go again. He's down already. You can't play with this kid. 18 years of age. And he is starching fools, man. He hits too hard and he's way too fast. You don't want to get caught up in that. Do not want to get caught up in that shit. Let's go. I'm waiting for him to make a move. When he makes moves, we uh. We capitalise. Nice spinning kick to the body there. That was nice. Is this all you got, though? He said round one. He's not doing enough to get a round one finish at all. Yeah, anyway. He might clip us later on, but... Right, I, I see that coming all day. Man. See him coming on the out there. There we go. He's down again. I just feel like George is on another level, man. Just another level. Clips me there. Let's go. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. Right Tried to Joe. come in, duck, and then that come out. Oh, it worked. Nice. He's got him hurt here. Let's go. Looking to bust him up, man. Just looking to throw down. 45 seconds. He's taking more of a defensive kind of kind of structure to this fight. Getting drilled again, though. 
chopping up that body. We're letting him know, man. We're letting him know. First round knockout against George? Nah, man. Hell no. Oh, clipped him again. I'm trying to land that body kick. I'm always trying to... Oh, he's still stumbling. Jeez. Second round stoppage, I predict. He clipped us. He's been cracking us a little bit, but... I feel like we've just... Because, because it's a real fighter, we're making less mistakes. We're trying to be a lot more drilled in and a lot more focused. Like, I'm not getting caught by this guy. No way. <coughs> Hell no. Let's go again. He wants to touch gloves this time. Okay. Got some respect for us after we dropped him. Nice body kick there. Nice. See him open. I'll keep landing it if he leaves it open. Nice hook there. Okay, he's coming for us. Now, the trainer did say he's going to come for us like early in the rounds, and then he's going to sit back, and that is what he's been doing. Every time he makes a mistake, though. Oh, my God. Three consecutive head kick knockouts in this video. Oh, my. Brutal. Absolutely brutal. He wasn't even stunned. Oh, he lent into it. That's why. He, he lent into the kick. Why? He leans in. Bow. Puts him out like a light. You see him turn into it here. Tried to slip something, but he ended up moving straight into the kick with his hands down. Out cold. One of the best knockouts. This this career mode is going to be amazing. But this is right up my street. This is how I play on UFC, man. This is like this is like. The closest you're going to get to like watching me play properly, like without the camera being on, without trying to play a certain style. Like we've played the grappler, we've, pra we've played the brawler, we've played every other career you could think of. But this one definitely feels like it is uh, kind of like what how I play uh, when I'm playing like, online against my friends or just online in general. But here we go. I just want to watch that replay again because it was absolutely stunning. Boom. Nighty night. He turned his head into it. And this dude said he was going to knock us out in round one. And uh, it didn't really happen, did it? Boom. Beautiful head kick. And that is all she wrote for Jot Car. I'm going to see who they offer us next. But I'm probably going to end the video in a second. Let's see who they offer us now we're climbing up the ranks. I believe it might even be the rival fight. And uh, if it is, that does kind of suck. But three straight knockouts in today's episode. One after the other. Boom, boom, boom. All from the roundhouse kick to the dome. And... Uh, Dude, this, this kid hits hard, man. He hits very hard. That kick is vicious. Especially this early in his career. He is sleeping, people. And, uh, I mean, he hasn't even lost a round. Like, let alone a fight. He's not losing rounds. He's, he's just dominating from start to finish. He's catching them. He's waiting for them to come in and overextend. He's catching them, slipping, and knocking them out. It's, it's crazy. We're going to see who they offer us anyway for the next video. Um, who's it going to be? I wouldn't mind another real fighter, to be honest. They offer us Sean Young, who is 5 and 6, Daniel Kelly, or uh, Dario Pate. Now, we've beat Dario Pate once already, but it looks like he's got some wins on his record. He's now 8 and 4. We beat him in the WFA. I believe he was like our second fight. Uh, but we do have Daniel Kelly, which is a real fighter. So let me know down in the comments who you'd like to see us face off against for the next video. I don't really have any interest in this dude, although he does have pretty nice grappling. Pretty nice stamina and pretty nice health. If you have a look at them three stats down the bottom, he actually does have some nice stats. But then again, so does this dude, and this dude doesn't really. But yeah, let me know who you'd like to see uh, for the next video. And uh, yeah, I guess we could do whatever. It's up to you guys. Let me know down in the comments. But for today's video, guys, I am going to end it here. Thank you so damn much for watching. If you have enjoyed today's video, smash the like button, comment and subscribe, and I will see you for more EA Sports UFC 3 next time. Stay awesome, guys. Have an awesome day, and I'll see you all again in the next one.